first one I seen was um, Ice Head Ice vs. Goods. Mm. You know, and that, that was, was already first. old by the time I that seen was what it. That shit was already old. Who got that? Who got it? Who got it? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying shit. I get you trash. I ain't saying shit. Trash. <laughs> trash. <laughs> Take the hinges with the door panel in the wall off. Bodies getting hauled off, lips getting torn off. Leg him with the sword off. He looking like a walking dead zombie trying to crawl off. I like this episode, you know, it was a different, a different perspective. That's why I like, you know, Math Hoffa's expert opinion. It's just, you know, bringing different type of people together. And, um, so recording? <laughs> yeah, we still let it rock, you know what I'm saying? Still yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 15 minutes later, you know, tight break. But nah, I just, you know, I think this is definitely a dope type thing just for the culture. Matthew, what he was saying is, is part of the reason why I want to get Mike P up here. Mm -hmm. I was like, eh, eh, I should go with Swave. I was like, nah. I was like, nah, we need somebody from the new generation up here. Somebody's going to be running this shit when motherfuckers is done with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, all right, we out of here. We had a good run. Who's at the top now? Yeah. Oh, is that Mike up there? Okay, all right, cool. Yeah. Bring him in. You know what I mean? Like, Word. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that for real. Like I said, bro, I said a long time ago, I was like, yo, Mike is from the core. Just by the structure. Yeah. I said, like, yeah, Mike is from the core. Yeah, I think I do, I do know, a combination of what people were doing back then and what people are doing now. Mm -hmm. I kind of paid my own. Obviously, that's never like a subconscious thing. Like, I'm gonna rap like yeah, Smack used to do. I'm mix a little. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's just been. It's always been like that. I think what what will make me relevant for a while is that I'm just a Swiss Army knife. I do everything. Right. Do everything. There's no real and style. You should you be really good say, at pretty much everything. Exactly. Well, not a lot of people are, man. What's your rebuttal really game like, though? I don't really rebuttal. I've rebuttal once. You gotta once. work on that, my guy. I've rebuttal once. I'll be scared too, man. I'm yeah, scared too because I'm like, yo, you know, you know what's funny? You rebuttal and then you end the bar and you're like, oh shit, how is I supposed to start? For years, I knew I could rebuttal, but I didn't because I didn't want to take the gamble. Yeah, but I once I'm once. killing your rebuttal. Really. Versus B dot in L A. Once. once I started and my rebuttal started shaking the room, I was like, oh nah, I'm, I was mm -hmm. tripping. I'm missing mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. I was tripping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? If your rounds is good, you know I'm good. Try a rebuttal. Yeah. You know what I like mean? Like adding on to your character in Call of Duty, nigga. Well, that's a fact. That's a fact. I think it's more of just me not really paying attention that much to what my opponent is saying. Really just me, because I'm blacked out when I get up there, man. The second I'm there, I'm out. Oh, I'm I'll be out. I, I check out. I, I listen. I listen. I can't repeat one thing you said when I get off the stage, but I do. I do listen. But I never. I never consciously think when I get up here I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to flip something. I yeah. feel like that's something natural for a lot of for a lot of rappers. I did it once. I did it once versus B dot, and it wasn't even a rebuttal. It was just a freestyle about the battle that had happened prior. Like right. there were mic problems, and I said like, "Oh, you're about to have some mic issues." Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, and y'all that 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 have been on a few of y'all meaning white guys that can go on the the smack stage and even get some respect. I remember seeing uh -huh. Snow vs. Real Deal. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was disgusting. Yeah, Real Deal did him dirty. Yeah, Shout out to Real Deal. Man. He knew Shout what he was doing. Shit. He knew yeah, exactly I, you what know, he was doing. white white artists have gotten. Um, a lot of debuts on the URL, but I, I I think I've been hey, y'all just white battle guys, rappers, bro. White yeah, battle yeah. rappers, yeah. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. The I game, think there's man, been a lot man. of appearances, yeah. but I would that would definitely be the first consistent URL rapper and consistent to where before I even got here, there's a lot of people that were like, "What are you doing? Who was the first? Why would you the first? The first?" The first Cortez. 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 <laughs> I was about to say, like, what you talking about? Stop Stop probably uh, probably SoCon. Oh, yeah, by the way. Oh, maybe SoCon when he battled Deacon Frost. Was that before? Yeah, SoCon. Wow. But happy yeah. birthday, Cortez. Wow. Wow. Today's Cortez's wow. birthday. Hey, birthday. Hey, cool. Oh, what up, my buddy? Shout out buddy, buddy, to Cortez. Buddy, you know what I mean? Got bricks in the tenant, man. Right now, yeah. you know, yeah, I, think, I think today he turned Cinco de Mayo. Cinco Something like that. Cinco de Mayo, he trying to kill you right now, nigga. That's my man. That's my man. I already know Chuck. That's why I know shit. I, know, oh. I, I fuck with D James and all of them. Yeah, but yeah. Happy I'm birthday, Cortez. NYB, nigga. Shit, almost. Fuck, I'm just not from Brooklyn. 
<laughs> NYB mm -hmm. was kind of structured behind. Yeah. Wu Tang. Nice. Very nice. Mm. Very nice. But I think the, the the problem with us is what was the glue for you guys? We grew up around each other. I think yeah, that we was all went the, to school and all that shit. Together. That was the issue. Yeah. We didn't. So a lot of the people that we grew up with didn't like the people that yeah. they grew up with. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it caused a little issue here and there and all that stuff. Well, that, well you got that and, and Dot Mob was like, them niggas was forming like Voltron every other week a new man. Yeah, Dot Mob was like, getting, oh, yeah, but yeah, Dot Mob yeah, was expanding. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the groups was crazy. <laughs> but the branches wasn't being supported. <laughs> And then the branches created their own from the end. So the branches from the end. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold Real deal is definitely that mom. I met real deal before. Cool motherfuckers. Yeah, shit. super cool. Super you know cool. what? Two on twos, right? Uh -huh. All right. Would you ever do a two on two? And if so, with who? You kill choice, by the way. Y'all both. And fine. it start with who? You know, rock on these niggas. Yeah. What? Who would I? Who would I do a two on two with? Who, who, yeah. Who would you uh, partner? Right now, with? Ace. I mean, Ace. Ace, I mean, what? for sure, for sure, brand new. Guy. For sure, we both represent. I, I feel like we both represent like bringing rap, like lyrical. Lyrical shit back. I feel like we both have similar styles. Right. I feel like me and Ace would, would be good, would be a dangerous to one too. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's that rap, rap <laughs> shit. It's that rapidy rap, rap tap, a lot I of rap. Know. Ace? Mm. Possibly. Mm. Not to sound racist. I ain't trying to sound racist. But you and Solomon, I feel like would be fine. I tried to reach out. Solomon like disappears, bro. He be going bro. on a tear Solomon for like a year. Still, he got white boy in him. You can still hear it. <laughs> In some of his shit, you know what I mean? I said, man, I said, you don't hear that Mike. shit. You don't hear that shit with Mike and shit. You can hear the yeah, you that's can hear that shit. I, I I can agree with that. Like Mike, you could have you could have got away with saying nigga. <laughs> you could have got away with it. Mike said, nah, chill, man. I'm just saying, you could have got away with it, crazy. Because like, motherfuckers sure? wasn't sure if you was white or Puerto Rican. This is true. I mean, we were a lot of shit. Arab, when you had a word. Yeah, that, that, word. Yeah, Greek, I'm saying. Yeah, Greek, yeah, I heard. Keanu Reeves, I mean, I'm white, but I like to say I'm Italian before I like to say it. Yeah, Jim's got away with it, but then we found him out. Oh, man. I seen footage on Jim's. That was crazy. And the cop was just standing there like it was just a casual day. And dude just over there with the camera. He's like, back up, back up, okay, back up. He's like, nah, fuck that, hold up. Nigga, that's what your ass get, nigga. When he got that right officer. Okay, yeah, he's had enough. Back up. That's right, motherfucker. Are we talking about the same nigga? Jim's? Jim's? You talking, 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 talking about when he got knocked out yeah. at the event? What? It was that officer? Knocked out? That was a, there was a, he got knocked out. out oh, out. nah, yeah. nah. You're talking, you about, uh, you're talking about Prez. Oh, Prez Mafia. Okay, you're talking about Prez. Prez. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Jim's. Jim's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm about to say, I'm that's, that's a different like, situation. Prez. That's why you ain't pick up your phone, Prez. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. But you know that was Prez, I think he got he knocked himself out jumping over a fence. Though. That's the story. The story is he the story is he jumped is he over a fence, fence and fell. So right, fence three zero. Right. Fuck all that shit. Fence three zero. And two okay. on twos. Who who y'all think hold it down the most? K Sean and DNA. Uh, of course you're gonna say that because they've been they brought it back into. I mean they're just not they, only the most consistent. Not only did they do it the most, and not only did they popularize creative. it. They're very creative. They're very they do it like uh, extremely creative. What would you say? <sighs> the best two on two. Uh, I feel like you have to by default. You have to say Sean and DNA. Damn, I don't man. think you've seen it because not a lot of two on two. Loaded Hollows. Sorry, Loaded right Hollows. Now, Loaded I think Hollows, Loaded Hollows is. I haven't seen it. Is probably. You haven't seen them. I don't even think they're better. better than Gun Titles. You don't think they're better than Gun Titles? Loaded, Loaded Hollows. I don't think they're better Gun than Gun Titles. Go. Do you no, know I'm going to tell, tell you what. Gun Titles, number one. Mm. Loaded Hollows serve. is number two for me. I wouldn't say though, because they ain't did enough two on two. That's that's, that's real. That's the only no, reason but, I can't give say it to But I did see. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, I like that. They, they DNA and K. Sean. They killed that shit. I, they, I they, like them. They are the most fuck. popular two on creative two. Creative as fuck. But y'all forgetting two people though. I'm telling you, and they. I think they clean. Marvel I think Marvel they Quest. clean everybody up. Man. No, they won't. I think I'm sorry. So. They just, got they just lost to the to the monsters. Twerk twerk and shirt. Twerk and shirt. Twerk and shirt. Twerk and shirt. 
That's bro, you can take that pass. Shit, though. I'm like twerk now. That nigga twerk. Twerk jumped over shit. You can still. I got way more info than me, but you can still put them. No, no, no. one of the best because they were doing it way before. I picked them to win. Right. Versus. Yeah, twerking show. Same, same. I thought it was gonna be a master. Class. I thought it was gonna be. A I thought they were gonna teach him a fucking letters. Yeah, nah, a it letters. Didn't, it worked out like that. Nah, I didn't. Their first, their third round should have been their first. But they're still opinion. an amazing two on two because of the, the resume that they had, the fact that they oh, did. That's it. crazy. That's why it's hard to say like Loaded Hollows or Gun Titles is better than DNA and K Shine because you got to understand like they got like one or two battles as a two on two. K Shine no, and DNA I, I can't went say on that. a two on two. I'm gonna say that. Tour. I'm gonna tell you why I can say that. The impact. You can have a two you, on two yeah. like y'all guys. You got chemistry, but that don't mean like when people saw Rock and Surf. Oh yeah, for the nah, first that, time I heard about that in the building, bro. I bro, I, this were, was right after my Millie exploded. Rock. This was right after my yeah. Millie. Ah, oh, everybody go crazy. I get off the stage like yeah. I got Yo, when y'all did the laser, night. when y'all did the beams, <laughs> oh, my when God. I just looked down on the stairs before the and shot, I see Surf and Rock walk into the stage. I was oh, like, yeah, man. let me go do my. My interviews or whatever. Bro. I heard that place was fucking. Bro, yeah, when I, I say the build every bar. I never felt yeah, the building yeah. shake like that in my name, life. Their name that heard night that was so every many fucking people, bar. Bro. Yeah. Their name that night was yeah. every fucking bar. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. nothing DNA. And before right, the yeah, shot. Like, like, like Sean had sir, to grab, shot, grab rock or do whatever. Yeah. And you know what? You know what? It was, it was on DNA top, and K-Shine. So. so it's like, you can say that they're better because they were on their way. Yeah, they, they beat the niggas that first time. them up. Son, it was sure. Be so. a na- that was going to be. That was going to be. That was on its way to be nasty. Cake, though. Cake, Cake. Cake. Chess and Steams? Chess and Steams? I think Steams just slept on them. Yo, Steams is one of my favorite battle rappers, man. He's always been. He's always been. His punchlines are too cryptic. Yeah, sometimes. I get it. But. It's like a niche Everybody style. Get it. Yeah, it's like you know a certain I mean? a certain type of. I get it. But it's like, I guess as long as the real, as long as the real can understand it. But no, if he wants to go anywhere <laughs> with it, that definitely don't help. Nah, <laughs> nah that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Help. Like if he wants to go anywhere with it, he's not going anywhere with it. But yeah, it's not. It's I was not. at I was at uh, uh, a battle with um, fucking um, fuck. I'm having the brain fart and shit. Well, it was um, daylight versus Chilla Jones. And I'll mm. tell you, the first two rounds, I was lost. They mm. were saying some other yeah, shit. Yeah, I was just oh. lost and shit. Yeah, that's one of the best battles but then, ever. Yeah, man. but then this motherfucker, once he did that rock, paper, scissors shit, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. I don't care what anyone <laughs> says, that's the greatest bar. You get the bar. open fist on the deuce or some shit like that? That's the greatest bar ever said, man. Open hand, the deuce. That's the greatest bar. That's the greatest bar. That's the greatest haymaker ever landed in battle rock, man. Shout out to KOTD. Shout out Shat URL. Shout out to We Go Hard. Shout out to RBE. For show. Shout out to all the battle rap leagues that's trying to come up. Bullpen, shit, John John the Dunn. Bullpen, yeah, shout yeah. out to John John. Word. John that's it. Me and Cortez battled DNA yeah. and K Shine on Bullpen. Yo, yeah. what, what got you in the battle rap so heavy, though? Because you really know your shit. You really know the guys. You I'm really see at heart. So, you know, it was bound to just come it's on a- my doorstep sooner or later. I think the first one I seen was um, Ice, Head Ice vs. Goods. Mm. You know, and that was, was already first. old by the time I that seen it. That was what That shit was already old. Who got that? Who got it? Who got it? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying shit. Uh, I ain't saying shit. I ain't saying shit. You trash, <laughs> dude. You trash. Well, I mean, All I that cool shit, nigga. won the battle. Yeah, yeah. You know, Ray Quan was one of the judges and shit. You know what I mean? Oh, that's the... Yeah, I said yeah. Ice and Cortez. That's, I think that's what Ray was. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Ray was at yeah. Ice and Cortez. You're right about that one. Yeah, but, I mean, yo. Look at our crew, set different, nigga. Like, yeah. Fuck, I seen I seen Head Ice do double O dirty. Oh. Funniest battle rap nigga to me is um. I don't respect Oh Solo. Oh Solo. Oh yeah. Oh Solo, Solo might be the the, oh, the greatest. One nigga bring two niggas. Bring two niggas. <laughs> two niggas. So my niggas bring three of my niggas. <laughs> Four <laughs> niggas bring Yo, five dream, niggas. Dream, dream five matchup. Niggas bring them all. <laughs> dream matchup. Bill versus O Solo. Bill will tell O Solo. And yeah. He, so. I, I, I feel like O Solo right now o Solo? would try to come up with something crazy. O Solo, you know what I like O Solo? I like because he makes me laugh and shit. He has some lines and right. shit, but he's like a light, light, light twerk. You know, because mm. he tries to do complex shit, but it turns out being simple. Or he'll just say some flat out dumb shit. Like one nigga, uh-huh, uh-huh. nigga, yeah. Like you know, I'm trying be, to go there with the being nigga, epic, but. Eh. Bill will eat his ass up. I mean, yeah, Bill, Bill could really Bill, rap. Bill, like, Bill could rap, rap. 
Uh, yeah, because that battle with Dre Dennis. Yeah. Like you better as a fat nigga. Like you better as a fat nigga. Fat Dre oh, nigga. Yo, I need love to that, that shit. verbal word. Somebody, if he that played shit. that in the record, somebody didn't want to sign his ass and shit. Even, and you know, the subliminal shit in there, it's like everybody didn't see that dot battle. You know, mm-hmm. but the fact that he threw that shit in there and made the shit sound hotter than when fucking Dot did it, it was like, yeah. the fuck? Yeah, when he said the umbrella. Yeah. Dot, 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 need the umbrella. Yeah, it's like, but the cadence, that's, that's, he probably knew how to dance and shit. The thing mm-hmm. that I love about battle rap is um, there's certain bars that you gotta be a part of the culture mm-hmm. to, yep. get, to get. Yeah, very most definitely. But when you hear them, <laughs> it's like if you standing next to a new fan, <laughs> they just left out. Like, uh, they just like don't know. Like, it's like a series where people are like, like, oh, I want to get into it. Well, you got you to gotta start watching from the first season. Uh, yeah. like there's, there was a, How would somebody start, like, if they want to get into it right now? Space Ghost mm-hmm. Beats. Don't. Like a new kid. If you, right. you want to get into battle rap bad, now, like don't. Battle. It's don't, too these tough. niggas is vicious. Don't do it. It's too tough. <laughs> niggas vicious. Like, if you got any skeletons in your closet, right. they go find them shits, dude. Yeah, well, once, you, once you get to that main stage level, the research is, is crazy. Yeah. I, like, doing it's media, crazy. for as long as I've I'm been dri- doing, for anybody, like, before. trying to get into battle I rap, yeah. I don't think it's hard to get into it. It's hard to actually become big in it. Because you got to go through so many. You got to go through the mic piece and all this other shit. Because if you coming out from the beginning and you don't get that URL look or you don't get a KOTD or a strong... Even you, but if you're not getting a top name where it matters and things like that, but it becomes tough. That, that came in trying to... And, and just, it just didn't work for him. Uh, KP the Poet. What did they KG, KG the, the Poet. poet. KG, KG the Poet. KG yeah. the Poet. You know? Uh, I thought Song of the Night, but each battle, I started seeing more and more... It's just like there was just, something it was just, missing. Yeah, it was just something not. There was like, okay, bro, are you tough or are you lyrical? Right, right. I don't know which yeah. one. When mm-hmm. he battled Ice, it was like, okay, which one are you talking about? You just not the favorable. Oh, it's like yeah, he yeah, can't yeah. read. A, it, I know what it is that he was saying. He couldn't read his room. Mm. Yep. Yep. And if when you can't read the room, they they eat you alive. That's one of right. the most important be things. Throwing up on that stage from nervousness and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah man. Fuck, yeah. I was there at that battle. DNA. Chest threw up. I couldn't. Yeah. Chest. I couldn't Rookies versus that vest. shit. Like, yeah. Hey, Rock. The fuck was that? Yeah, he was throwing <laughs> up. Yeah, that's crazy. Fucking Averb threw up at a goddamn battle, and this is after he done been in X amount of My battles. Buddy. The nigga threw up at the one I was at. I ain't see him do it. I was just mm, told that was him it. versus. That white boy. Yeah. And that white boy was nose, trying to get the to nose, him. the nose. He was trying to give it the to nose. him. Burner. Or was it Burner? Was his name not Burner? Bur- Bur- I think he passed away too. It might have been that motherfucker. Nah, it wasn't Bender. Um, wasn't Bender. Come on, was on it the West Coast the with the nose. Yes. No, so yes. No. No, it wasn't West so Coast. Gone. That nigga's nose. hilarious. West Coast? West Coast, big nose, white. I didn't battle him. He was writing <laughs> for Arcane. Oh, uh, oh, good guy. I just seen one of his battles, too. He just battled uh, Caustic, Pass. Right? Caustic. Caustic. It was Caustic. Caustic. Yo, I'm sorry, Caustic, because I fuck with you, Caustic bro. Caustic is mad disrespectful. I don't know Caustic why. Caustic is mad it's disrespectful. The it's the Baba Cool. It's the Baba Cool. That motherfucker, he, he, sometimes his shit don't even rhyme, so he can just... Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's just talking, he talked dirty. Just so he can yeah, and the sentence like, damn, right. is that part of the round? You, so, did you, you just needed to get that off your chest. It was Caustic versus R. King. When he was talking about Arcane's dead relatives. Yeah, I remember mm. that. Mm. Bro, I That's heard when those I said, rounds. This dude is wild, disrespectful. He spit the rounds to me in a hotel. And I was like, I ain't right. ready to fight, bro, if I was Arcane. In my mind, the whole time, if I was Arcane, bro, I'd fucking punch you right in your fucking mouth. Mm. Mm. You can't talk like but, that. But <laughs> <laughs> Arcane is not me, so this shit going to fly. It's just going to fly, right? <laughs> this shit is going to fly. He yeah. spit the rounds. And I think the crowd got kind of turned off. They was like, nah, you OD. You mm. just going too far. Right, right, right. It was vicious. That's crazy. <laughs> and was you vicious. know what's crazy? I wanted to get back to um, the Mook thing. My fear with, with that shit, because it was pretty accepted. It was yeah. pretty accepted. There was a lot of people that were like, oh, yeah, Bridge deserved to get punched in the face. My problem is I'm, I fear a lot of battle rappers going, well, you know what? Now I have a line. Now I have a line you can't cross. You don't can. need to know whether you know or not. 
Now I gotta cross. Now if you cross it, I can just punch you. Well, the league owners as a whole, they should start a commission anyway to to get to root that shit out because that Doctor Pay, money. it's already Doctor bad Pay, enough if fuck. they don't want us in those buildings. But, but bro, you gotta understand, like it it depends on who you dealing with. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. Caustic told this motherfucker, um, I think the reason why your career is going nowhere is because you miss your mother so much and you're trying to stay underground. <laughs> Yo, that's oh, OD. Jesus. That's OD, man. dude. Like, come oh, on, man. Shit. Yeah, that's you, that, you, but you know what? That shit wouldn't clean. bother me. That shit would Foul. not bother me because I know who this nigga is, so it would not bother me. Like, you can't <laughs> You expected it. You're like, all right. Yeah. Like, but you I don't know, man. For some I, people, I, that shit is not. Nah. I've heard niggas say, "I fucking grab your daughter by a fucking and y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. grab your daughter by a point and face fucker and shit like that." And I'm like, first yeah, of all, nigga, that's some pedophile yeah, that, that, shit. Yeah, yeah. Second now, niggas of all, be saying some shit, shit. You ain't really gonna do that shit. And third of all, technology is off itself for doing some dumb shit like that. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so, cool. what do you think about yeah. everybody saying technology bars? And everything like that. People say don't disrespect the dead, this, that, and the third. He did some fuck. Listen. Yeah, he did say, yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, if he was in jail, they would have killed him anyway. Okay. Facts. But you know what, the, this thing about this Tech Nine situation is was it the embarrassment or was it that he actually did it? I think it was more than that. I think it was demons. It was some deep shit because that yeah, was I mean, yeah, shit. Shit. yeah, fuck around. He was molested and shit or some shit. You know, niggas ain't just gonna come straight out and say that. But then again, battle rap is so harsh. Who gonna want to battle after that? I mean, yeah. I wouldn't even battle. Not after like seeing it. Yeah, I mean, especially if I had proof, I wouldn't even want to be in Look. the same room with the nigga. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got children and shit, and like mm. nigga, nah. For years, my daughter was missing. Disappeared the summer that I battled Calico. Mm. I went looking for her the summer that I battled Sirius the mm. first time. Mm-hmm. And I could not say anything to anybody, though this shit was killing me. I bet. Not knowing where she was. Your baby, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. for years, this shit had me in a dark spot, but I had to. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up? Yeah. Who the hood is Uncle Ra? Yeah, let's do this interview. Couldn't say shit mm. because I knew once I said something, it was going to, pounce it was going to come shit. out in the battle. Blood in the Somebody water. was going to say something about it. Blood in the water. And if that situation wasn't resolved, it wasn't going to be a good night for that person. You know what I mean? Right. So that's it's tough. It's tough for somebody to come out and actually share that type of information. Right. Man, if I hate to say it though, your shit was rich as soon as you snuffed those. That was it. Yeah, yeah. That was it. it was that was written. it. That was it. it was yeah. Right there, my nigga. Damn. And you, you know, you kept kept the same energy I mean, through the know, years. I mean, for, no, it's not even the same energy. It was yeah. like, nigga, they pushed that agenda off top. It was like, when oh, you yeah, see yeah, the yeah. fucking, any kind of footage, battle rap footage, niggas was doing promos, you would see that part yeah. right there. Yo, That's right. get on my face. Say it again, man. Say it, face, <laughs> say it one more time, man. For, for years it was promo, yeah. promo right? Hell, push the culture. Crazy. The years, but they was pushing in the game like, though. yo, you want to come up in here and battle? This shit is real. This shit is real. Be, no, no, I, I said it in a rhyme one time. Yeah. I said I gave the whole battle world credibility. Shit. Mm. Now you started shit. believing people that, that you never should have believed in the first place. That snuff and the one, you know, oh, you mad because I'm styling, styling on you. That was the Knicks. Shit right there. And Ian J, man. Shout out to Ian J, Shout out to Ian J. What happened in your situation? I was one of the I was beating them. I was beating them. Bad. Yeah. Bad. That's it. Bad. But you know it's crazy. E and J actually has a lot to do with it. Wow. Because uh, 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 <laughs> the history. <laughs> real talk. The three sixty is real. It's a real. This is real. Three sixty. This wow. is real talk. This is real talk. Salute to E and J. So what's crazy is when he threw the when he threw the punch. Right. I'd actually I can't even call it a punch because he tapped me with like three fingers. But when he threw the punch, it was actually after I'd said I'm done. Like I'm done battling you. I'm gonna go address, you know, Long Island and just, you know whatever yeah, yeah. stupid shit I thought was good to drop gems on. Right. And um, after all that shit happened, E and J hit him, mm. hit him up, and was like, "Yo, why'd you fuck the venue up? Why'd you do that? Da da da." That dude was a kid, bro. That that kid was like 17, I think. That kid that hit me, yeah. And uh, he he said, and I quote. I figured since you had done it, <laughs> I would get respect. E and J's like, bro. My opponent 
flashed a pistol on me. Right. Not beat me in a rap battle. Right. Yeah, like, he was cutting them up too. Right. Right. Him was because I said, too. stop showing me your, your, your pistol. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, homie wasn't even doing nothing. Like, I, li- I was literally just beating him in a battle. That was my first battle, too. So when that shit happened, I was like, man, I'm done with this shit. Because I had done it just to get back into music. I was doing music for so long, I took like three years off. I was like, you know what, let me take a battle. You know, get, you get throw myself in a nice situation. Right. You know, get the feel back and then get back into music. I got punched in the face. I was like, man, I ain't doing this shit anymore. Did you feel it I coming? was like, whatever. You knew when I got punched in the face, I felt nah, it Nah, because I was looking. I was looking like off to the side. I was looking off to the side. I was Because I was addressing the crowd. I you literally were said, space. You were I'm done space. battling. I yeah, yeah, I told the kid, space. I'm like, yo, I'm done battling you. And then I turned, I was like, yo, what's up? And they threw the punch. But I, at first, I was like, you know what, man? Fuck that rap. I'm off this shit. A week later, I'm like, you know, let me check the video out. Check the video, and I had like 350,000 views. I was like, Damn. they love yeah. that bullshit. Maybe I'll do another yeah, one. Yeah, I gotta do another one. I'm like, yeah, I'll take another one. Right. That shit right now is up to like 700,000. I, 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 I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll do another battle. But, and that's probably the highest viewed battle on that channel, period. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. By far. Oh, by a long shot. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, for sure. The, the people love violence. Little Homie's next battle is probably like 15,000 views or some shit. Yeah. What gave you the fucking courage to do the street fighter shit, bro? How do you kick up a new thing? Man. Have a new thing to the When you hit it, bro, I was oh, you like, can. I was like, bro, look, can. what? What psychedelic drug <laughs> was you on when you, you can't said, I'm going to do this and it's going to be right. fire? And and you know what's write crazy? That shit down. You know what's crazy? Because hold on. Real talk, Street Fighter, I'm one of the best. I have everybody says right. that. Right. But <laughs> if I was in, if, 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 uh, if I was around my niggas, if I was around my niggas and I said, <laughs> Hadouken in a in a round they'd be like, nah, man, that ain't for tripping, you, man. <laughs> Why well, ain't you, could, man? So I knew I could do voices. I knew I could do like a couple impersonations, like of certain people. But what's crazy about that is I almost took it out the day of. The day of, I had a choice between that and like an eight bar setup about just Tink, the dude I was battling. Yeah. The problem that I had with it was there were there was no punch. There was no metaphor. There was no double meanings. It was right. literally an impersonation. Yeah. That's it. Just an impersonation that yeah. happened to rhyme. But it was like, it was. this is either going to be the most embarrassing fucking thing I've or ever it's done. Gonna right. Or it's going to be, be fine. fine. Yeah. 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 You know, you know, when you rehearse shit, it's like, you got to feel for things that might hit. You know what I mean? You write something, you go, all right, that's definitely yes. going to get no, reaction. No, but you performed it with such conviction. Yeah, bro. like you said. I had to, bro. Out. Like you did, you did the form and everything. I know. I, like, I wish they hadn't cut me off at the second time because the second time I was hitting everything perfect. The bro. voice was perfect. Everything was perfect. But, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I've always tried to be outside the box. Like, you have that. to try to be outside the box. You have to try to do something unprecedented, a certain style that no one's tried before, like yeah. things that people don't do. So it's like, and that's what I learned at that point. It was like, battle rap, it's not really about wins and losses. It's about memorable. It's about being mm, memorable. Memorable. Mm. Saying certain, certain things that people are going to stick with that. And that shit is etched in battle rap history, bro. Yeah, that's That should always be remembered. And that took me way farther than a W. Right. Way farther than a win. Obviously, you never know. You like know I, I mean? I, if there was a one-on-one to get in reaction, you'd, you know, you'd know what to write every yeah, single time. Like, when I think of that battle, I don't think of whatever Tink was saying. Yeah, I think and you know what's crazy? I was, cooking, I was cooking the whole fucking battle. You battled none none And no... Did you nah, nah. Um, I have battled none none yeah. I none none battled that day, too. none none battled that day, too. That but also, another thing is, aggressive. I was yeah. coming off that loss. None-none? Yeah. Yeah. I was coming off. I was coming off. Dub. Av kicking my ass. I was coming off of that before I battled Tank. Mm. So for me, it was like I had to be conviction. I had to have conviction. I had to be. I had to have the balls to to do everything. So, so you lost like, to Av, and then your next battle was classic. was Tank. Right. Was Street Fighter. Was class. And then the very next battle I'm after that. I'm telling y'all niggas, losing the like, Av is the new win, bro. Oh, man. It's the new it win. Is. Y'all that think is, I'm playing. Is. And then that I had a classic man. with Daylight like the playing. very next battle. Very next battle, uh-huh. class with daylight. Bro. Toss you something without the pen. Another, bro, another fucking you, shit that's etched in battle rap. I got, bo- I, I, I got booked for hollow right after, bro. So how do these niggas be named champion? I don't get it. Like it was Geechee champion. Uh, champion of the year. Oh, right, um, the year before. Champion of the year was Geechee, and then why? it's like it's like a 
I don't know. Don't nah, Geechee, Gucci, Gucci, no, 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 it's, it's just it's popularity. I think it's, it's popularity. not just popularity. I think it's popularity though. right now. You I'm know what? Lie, I, can't, I can't say that because old Red won before. He's yeah. not. He's not. He's not the most well, popular. I think that's what the I think that's what the base basis was originally. But I think like old, a championship old Red won off just straight. Nah, they, them niggas get a belt, a ring, and ten G's. You know, no real losses. He had a couple stumbles in the battles, but it was just flawless performances. Then should have one because he elevated everybody that's in the battle with him and shit. Yeah. yeah, him and JC, that's that true. shit was crazy. Yeah, that's true. I'm not gonna lie to no, him. I, I, I will say with the, the top top tiers. Mm. So we don't know what to do with you, bro. Like, we really yeah, don't. He be fucking out. We don't know what to do with you, son. Yeah. Like, listen, man, I don't think we don't know. We like about. we don't know enough the about only you, bro. Like, ever, it's the only person that ever really us. gave him that work was Nitty. And a lot of people call and Nitty out, like, was the top, top of the top. That was Nitty like, was a rookie. Small yeah. room. Nitty was more of on the come up too. Like, like big, big stage. Nitty is so well informed that I wouldn't even put it oh, yeah. past him to think that this motherfucker does shit like plays backgammon and shit like that and crossword <laughs> puzzles and shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Nitty's he's just, just like he just, his and word shit. Play is perfect. Listen, man. But it works. He pisses me off, man. I'll be hearing shit. I'm like, how the fuck? It works for him. Certain joints, certain things I'll be like. But I be hearing yeah, niggas in fluxions now. I be hearing niggas in fluxions now, and it all yep. say twerk that where they start off, and it's like, you ain't gonna do it. Yep, yep. A lot of dudes is doing that shit. Shout out to Sean. Shout out to Woo! Oh, Wow. Woo! Oh, oh, right there with shots. <laughs> nah, I fuck with Sean. But I know it's, it's all about. I know this. A lot of people know it's all about. A lot of people said that. Because in the same sense, you can say that about conceited with QP. Because remember when he, you know, quantum physics and shit, them niggas was doing, you know, that slow it down. Yeah. That's basically what he that was, was yeah. yeah. You know, but if someone can, it's not even taking it. It's like latching on to something. When everybody was rhyming in this scheme here, it was like um, the Jada scheme. Remember, everybody was rhyming like Jada for a minute mm -hmm. and shit mm -hmm. until they wasn't. Somebody else came along and they was like, okay, now we're going to rhyme like these niggas. Shit evolves, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not biting in a sense. It's more or less like paying homage to... You know, style. Pay, pay well, that's another thing. If you and pay it, attention to style, yeah. there's certain things you'll pick up. Yeah, of course. If you don't, then a motherfucker just sound like, like if you really, really think about it, Danny Myers is cannabis. Uh, wow. 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 I don't know if people notice that or not, but Danny Damn. Myers is cannabis. I didn't even think he reminds me of that gerbil that just be on that wheel and dick. 100%. Like, stop and shit. Bar God. You know, and yeah, in between it. Bar God. I'm going to stop. I'm going to rob it until the Demeter says, nah, 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 nah. Like, that's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, Danny. Yeah, yeah, Danny, yeah, you're yeah. cannabis. Yeah. You're the new yeah. cannabis, Danny. That's crazy. You're the new cannabis. But I think, I, style, I I think that, with yeah. people emulating certain people's styles, like Twerk, I think Twerk represents the ev the next evolution of battle rap. What he does with idioms, what he does with just the way to take one word and make five out of it, and there's not one reach, not one stretch. Tongues, all kinds People of will that. subconsciously take notes of things. Like it, it, you know, it, it's just like any sport where you see somebody like, oh shit, I didn't even know I could dribble that like that. Right. Well, now I'm gonna do it. So and I might put my little on. twist on it. Right. I don't think anyone's gonna kill. You know, I don't think anyone would shit on uh, Kobe to, for, to, for going to Kareem yeah. to try to learn post moves because it's like, you know what? This works. This is amazing. Mm. And if I could add it to my arsenal, and I think it's like, it's taboo in hip hop because a lot of people are so quick to say, no, you stealing off that guy. Yeah, you stealing money, off that guy. But subconsciously, I've taken notes from battle rappers where I'll step back and I don't even realize I'm doing it. Right. I'll right. step back and go, damn, I kind of delivered that like, like twerk. Yeah. Or when I, was a, I would, when I was big on Steams, I remember like early in my career before I got on URL, I was writing for a round. I stepped back and I was like, damn, I wrote my whole, my first eight bars of the first round. It was like, just like Steam. I didn't even notice. Yeah. But I didn't you know even what? Um, but it's subconscious. People, words, take words, notes. words are, you know, words are words. So exactly. you, know, you will have two people may say a line that sounds alike, but they wrote it two different times where they yeah. didn't even hear this, they didn't even hear that. Right. But style is totally different. different. Completely. Like you see somebody come out in a Buster Rhymes hat and you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's right. a Busta Rhymes hat, right. nigga. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You, you see it for what the yeah, fuck that, is. That, that right. I don't... That's not... Yeah, that's not taking no... See, you do that shit, bro, nigga. Yeah. 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 I ain't see you do that, bro. I ain't gonna front that. I ain't gonna front that. I ain't gonna you do that, bro. With the little knife. I see you Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, once he got the And he made fun of Twerk. Yeah, when he bat when they battled. We battled. I fucked with Twerk. I fucked with you. But once you grew that beard, it was... Yo, I'm Rum Denny, and I'll kill your mother and everybody in the building. That's a fact. <laughs> the inflections come a little differently, man. Mm -hmm. man. But, yeah, but you know, I think every time you battle somebody, if it's a good battle, 
you take something from that person. Yeah, definitely. Of Definitely. You know what I mean? That's why Canelo, who's a boxer, takes something away from every every fight that he once he if he fought you, mm -hmm. the next fight he even better than he was in the last yeah. fight. Yeah, and you ain't even trying to do it. It's just like something that it's naturally. It's just something comes. that naturally. You happens. get off of a yeah. battle and you're like, man, I loved how he said that, or I love how he did that, or I didn't even know you could do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is what makes us as an audience. Like you pay attention to okay, Mook versus Loaded Lux. Right. Mm. Right. The second I one? had Lux, honestly. I ain't gonna even lie. You had Lux. First one for sure. The second one. Yeah. The second one. Yeah, where Mook completely dominated. Black. Yeah, I remember. Black. I was in the But building. then he battles A Verb and he sounds like he's right and like Lux. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Yep. Wow. Yeah, man. Wow. It happens subconsciously. Wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? You watch back your battles, you're like, I smoked this guy, but you find like little hidden jewels. Oh, he said something here. He said something there. I like that style. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he battled verb, and all of a sudden it was scheme, word, hidden words, and he was Ooh, even yeah. doing this with his hands. Uh -huh. He was even doing Ooh. all this with his hands. And I was like, wow, Ooh. this is crazy. Mm -hmm. But it really happens. Like you, but for the they wouldn't even catch that. You wouldn't shit. even They're catch not it. even on that plane of existence like that. Mm. I love, as, uh, coming from the audience point of view, this is what makes us come back. You know, there may be another person that fucks us up like Twerk or that first battle I seen with Math and fucking uh, Iron Solomon in mm. the record store. Iron Solomon. I was amazed because this is my first time seeing a white boy because I was searching for Math battles. Seeing mm -hmm. a white boy go heavy. I mean, yo, this motherfucker <laughs> said gonna... he broke down math so much, it was like so my division can snap into the line with my... Yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. Mm. And for years, this... that math scheme has just haunted you. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. every, every single battle. battle right. <laughs> every yeah. fucking battle. Do the like, math. It's like Iron Solomon just comes out of motherfuckers. And, and I'm like, ah, oh, here we are again. And Fat Beats. I never right. had a problem A math scheme. Math. I'm oh, talk God. about the ladies. If but the best tried. one ever was Solomon. The ladies? Yeah. yeah. Who's um, your favorite? Yeah. Right? You know, I, I go for some of the classics, right? I fuck with E Hart. I think that mm. she, E Hart is dope. a monster. I like Tori Doe. She dope. And everybody been biting her shit since she did it. With the, the remote, remote clicking. Mm. Yeah. Niggas doing seat belts and all mm. kinds of Tori Doe. Yeah, but. Um, I call Surf Tori Doe one day. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Uh, C3. Yeah. I like C3. C3, C3 is fire. Yeah, she uh, official. Is she writing her own shit? Because she killed Jazz with just one line. She about to Jazz battle uh, Misfit. Jazz Misfit. Jazz Misfit. Jazz Misfit. Yo. Jerry, Misfit. Yo. What about Misfit. my verse? Crazy. My verse. <laughs> She's beautiful. <laughs> that's a little Look, sis. Man, that's your I got a lady at home. That's a little sis right there. She dope, though. But yeah, she, that's a little, a little sis. Technically, she... Yeah. yeah, we'll have a conversation. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, my verse is dope. Miss Hustle. What? Miss Hustle. My verse is more than MC. Um, e Heart is more Gutter. lyrical. Gutter. Yeah, very, mm -hmm. Talk that very shit. So, and we she, believe her because she dressed like us. Man. Yeah. 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 E Heart is like, <laughs> talk like <laughs> us. No e Heart. Smash nothing, you know what I mean? E Heart is you like, like crazy. Rod Digger and mm. Prodigy had her <laughs> thing. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. That's crazy. Props to E Hawk. Facts. Facts. Fuck, How y'all feel about jazz? Jazz, jazz, jazz is, is a like student. a superstar of the genius. Females. Like a genius fucking yeah. like she just sit she just sat in the back of the class and absorbed everything and right. shit, man. Mm. And but for me, the only the only thing that showed a little weakness to me was when she um cause that official line must have really hurt her because her next battle she was like so somebody done, she basically told everybody, somebody, somebody, somebody done fucked me. Oh, uh, somebody done fucked me. So what y'all gonna talk about now? Oh, uh, we gonna talk about you getting fucked. And who did it? That's what we gonna talk about. God damn it. But no, I fucks with jazz and shit. I, fuck, yeah. I think that she, she reminds me of like a female JC. That, that's a, much of a student of work. Right. You right. know what I mean? Um, right. so you know how to put on a show, too. What about yeah. girls like Shuni? Uh, she nice. Farrah. Shuni. Uh, Farrah got her ass kicked earlier this year by Misfit Dad. I, I beat Shuni yeah, before. Misfit came back on a four year high. And Misfit hiatus. rhymed like Jay. That's the one that rhymed like Jay Murder, looked like Jay Murder too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She kind of Cortez, yeah, NYB. She, she, Murder, I, Murder Ave. She fuck with Murder Ave. Murder Ave, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah she so. seemed like it too. She go, she go a little. Whatever happened she, to Gat? What's her name? Gaddis? There you go. Yo, crazy. I don't know. crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yo, she did the Tomb Raider joint. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That was dope. Yeah. 
Yes. Come but on. Yes. Which 40, 40 balls? Miss Hustle. 40 balls. 40, mm. 40. Miss Hustle. Boston. Miss Hustle. Miss Hustle. Voice though, it's just something. A lot of their voices sometimes. If, if I can get past the voice, if I, if I could just pick one, yeah, as the top of the top, yeah. I'd pick Miss Hustle. Yeah, Hustle. for yeah, sure. Miss Hustle, she definitely got the package. She right. Definitely, but I mean, man, official man. man, official might be that New Orleans accent and all that. The I mean, she, 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 I don't think that she did. Did, did. did they battle Hustle and official? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah they, they did. Got him. Hustle yeah, got Hustle, Hustle the one that had a fight. Yeah, Hustle got her out of there. Right? That, yeah, was yeah, after, that was Hustle after that was after official battle jazz, right? Hustle, love Hustle. Hustle fine as fuck, too. Oh, take the thing, that comes in all that. Oh, take the thing, a lot of meat to me. Hold it up like that. The only thing is, with female battle rap though, it's just not as active and it's not enough. Like where it's like, no, this psychotic. You know what I'm saying? Psychotic, oh, yeah. And then and if you go to any psychotic, female battles, they're going to they gonna pop off. A lot you of go, girls pop off. You go off. to a female battle rap event, they got more it goes like this. <laughs> battle, fight. Mm-hmm. Battle, fight. And then yeah. and battle. the bitches that came with them. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like throughout the night. Yo, they fight outside. Uh-huh. <laughs> you yeah. Yo, they about to start the battle. <laughs> Yo, they about to start the fight. Yo, they about to start the fight. Queen B. QB? QB? Oh, yeah, she's QB. a problem. She I was the first battle she's rapper that co-signed QB. Like, I went up to an event in CT, and I met her, mm. and I listened to her. I was like, yo, you fire. Mm. Turn on the camera. Oh, I'm co-signing QB. <laughs> Next thing I know, she was dissing me. I yeah, was like, that's oh, what she do. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she had a, a crazy right. joint with Arsenal. And Arsenal told her, Trump, my president, he yeah. told me to grab her by the pussy. Yeah, 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 yeah he grabbed her by the pussy, yeah. too. I got to grab this shit, this fucking water, boy. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, nah. The QB definitely animal. Who you think going with with uh, Misfit and uh, Fisher in Cleveland? Misfit. Misfit? Yeah. She, well, you know, you you murder at bias. But nah, it's not a bias thing. No, no, no. I wouldn't even like if you said that. I couldn't even disagree because right. she came back smoking this year. Like, I think Misfit is just too smart for a lot of chicks. I think she's just too uh, for me. She just talk like she she's she gets personal. She don't give a fuck like, and she can rap like, she knows how to put the shit together. Crazy she got crowd control, everything. Like official aggression, is dope, but she's gonna go bar 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 bar. Mm. You're not really gonna get, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If Misfit play cards right, she it could be T top and goods. Dig what I'm saying? Mm. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Misfit, uh, she she gonna give official a fucking run because I was surprised that she was that good against Farrah when she came back. Like, like I mean, I didn't expect her to Misfit body her like that, my nigga. Like, mm. goddamn, it's like body of the year, my nigga. It's, yeah. Like, but Farrah, like, past stay in my top ten, bro. Pat oh yeah, he creeping up in there. And no, a lot I, of niggas top ten. Pat been there gonna do as he Pat, Wow, Pat is hilarious. He's, he's dope. Battle. He, he, I don't. He came to URL and been moves. fucking shit up. He's he killed. He's Danny. been one of the. He ghosts, killed right? Danny Myers, and who, I like Danny Myers a lot. Who, who do you like better? Okay, Pat. One thing I gotta say. Yeah. The suits. <laughs> the shit he be wearing, the the, 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 the minks and all that. That leopard I, mink. I like suited Pat Stay, but I also like all black Pat Stay. Right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yellow shirt patch day, I'm not a big fan. Yellow shirt patch <laughs> He beat Bird yeah. with the yellow shirt. Ah! Yeah, I know, but, but nobody judged about it because he had on that yellow shirt, bro. Like, yeah. Like, you saw yeah. the leopard mink he had against Tay Rock in London? Yeah, I like that. That, that, that patch day, I could leopard rock. Mink it's, it's it's leopard mink patch day. It's too hot. It's a lot you know of it. I like that. That's Who's different. the funniest like battle rapper you yeah, know in and out of the arena? They're just funny, period. Patch day. I put T-Top up there. T Top is yeah. hilarious. Is like hanging around I'm talking about hanging around T Top. T Top doesn't have a Funny as hell. hell. <laughs> funny as hell. I think T Top is hilarious. Goods is funny. I think Goods is hilarious. Yeah, good. shit. Charlie Clips, Clips is funny too. Clips, Clips, clear. Clip, Clips. Yeah, Clips might be the funniest. Clips might be the funniest. Yeah. Funny as fuck, man. Word. Clips will snap on everybody. Facts. <laughs> I ain't clicked out of Snap. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to talk about? Get him that torch. Yo, to Map, shit. I see you got two new movies. Idris Elba, all types. Of, I mean, I don't know. You know, I could. Oh, um, Ghetto Cowboys. Yeah. Ghetto Cowboys? The Concrete yeah. Cowboys, my bad. Concrete Cowboys. Yeah, um, Idris Elba. Uh, Caleb from uh, Stranger Things. Jerome. Mm-hmm. Wow, okay. Dope. Jerrell Jerome, sorry. Jerrell Jerome from um, When They See Us. 
uh, and Lorraine Toussaint. I don't know if y'all watch Orange is the New Black. If you seen her face, you would know who she was. She's what character is that? On Orange is the oh, New yeah. Black. She was on there for that season when the black lady took over the prison. She was a black lady that took over the prison. Okay, okay, okay. And had them rioting and all that. Okay. But, yeah. But um, that was fun. That was like, when you up there- It's with all shot veterans, and done? All, all yeah. the, okay. Yeah, they did that in 20 days. Wow. Yeah. 20 days. 20 wow. days. Yeah, that's why I be telling niggas, get your cameras, go do it. You know, I went and did something with Illa G. Yeah? The New York Minute. Get out of here. Like I said, man, it's hard. It was the homie. That's the homie. So. I met him through uh, Sway 7. Shout out to Sway 7. Homie. Team Homie. Well, what was those was experiences like, the, uh, the uh, recent joints you just shot? And the other one I shot was um, with uh, Mel Gibson and Charlie Hunter. Yeah, I saw that too. Sons of Anarchy and shit. That was, you know what, that was like a two-day thing. And I just wanted the experience of being in the same room with these dudes. Turns out my scenes wasn't with either one of them, but I did mm -hmm. get to meet them. You know. I just like freedom, the freedom of independent. Because when you do independent movies, you can, I mean, they, if it fits it. the scene, you can go off. Mm. But, you know, the weirdest shit that, that bugs me out is like, when you try and hire your goons as goons, they try to portray the shit they see on TV as opposed to being who they actually are. Really are you know what right? I mean? That shit is Strange. hilarious to mm. me and shit. <laughs> hilarious and shit. Especially if, you know, if Don Cheeto is the hardest motherfucker in the scene and he the only one that's an actor in this motherfucker. <laughs> the rest of y'all is really gangsta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. So, you know, I, I enjoy it. Oh, man. And, and when I did that shit with, with Charlie and um, Mel, I basically was a rapper. Okay. Um, a music exec, and they gave me a lot of leeway to play with shit, so, yeah, I, I mean, you let me ad-lib, I'm gonna ad-lib all day, I turn one line into a monologue, mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. if you let me and shit. Yo, Meph, salute. I remember um, the battle, BWR, Battle World Report. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were yeah. shopping that around for a little while. Uh, Matt always had some ideas to expand on battle rap and shit. And this is, I was still green. I didn't understand how the shit worked. Mm. You know? It's there now. Yeah, it's there yeah, now. I got it now. I know exactly. I know the ins and outs of this shit. I know who really fuck with who and who don't fuck, <laughs> who fuck with who and shit. You yeah. know? Mm. Yeah, what, what would you say is the best um, outside of rap yeah. business decision that you ever made? Mm. I'm still doing it. Invest in my daughter. She, uh, College, paying her college off. Smallest shit I ever did. I could have went through fast food and financial aid shit and all that shit and let her have the burden of debt. Right. But you know, best investment ever because I, I instead of giving her a fish, I taught her how to. So, mm. yeah, she gonna eat forever. That's my baby right there. That's dope. As far as um, you know, acting in these past two movies, are you gonna be doing more? Is that just something that's the just object, something? the whole objective is to produce, mm. so I can get some of these stories that they don't think we go to the movies. To see. Yeah, they I don't see. Think black people go to the movies. Yeah, that's, that's, that's like an actual thing. Which is ridiculous. Yeah, you yeah, would think yeah. Magic Johnson would have changed that opinion by now. Well, you know, Magic was still like a part of the system himself and shit, but that's that's not a bad thing because we need people in there. Same right. way we need. I mean, you go to Canal Street, what do you see? You see Asian cops, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Same. You go to our neighborhoods, we got what? Mike P and shit. Fuck Mike P. Who is that? Right. Right. That's, that's, we always need somebody in the room. Even what Jay-Z doing right now, people is, is criticizing him for oh, yeah, with the NFL. doing a deal with the NFL. And I, and I believe what they say, and I believe both sides. I think mm. Jay's heart is pure, but Jay does like to make fucking money. Hell yep. yeah. You know, right. coming from a pure place, right. he does like to it's make business. fucking money and shit. It's business. That's well, there, there was news that um, the Steelers are going to sign happening. Yeah, I believe it when I see it. Because you don't <laughs> want, they, they're thinking, how does this hurt my pockets? Am I going to lose appetizers? Am I going to lose people coming out to the games? Because people still do come out to the games. Right. You know, and that and Steelers? that alone, Pittsburgh. That alone, I mean, when you're in a, a, a city like Pittsburgh, what revenue do they actually have? This is the Rust football. Belt. This is the Rust Belt right now. Right? Have you ever been in Pittsburgh while there's a football game going on? Yeah, absolutely. everything is closed. Yeah, really. Everything. We're talking about Ga we're talking about gas stations. You run out of gas, <clears throat> you gotta wait till the game is over, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Sit right here and wait till the game is over. Yeah. We're talking about the steel industry, which is suffering right now under this administration 
And this is the votes that everybody's lobbying for in the Democratic Party. I hate to get political and shit, but right. that's smart. No, let's take it there. But you, everybody in the Democratic Party is lobbying for the Midwest and the Rust Belt. We're talking about the steel industry, people of that who are right. out and, and don't know where the next meal is coming from, especially with the tariffs and things mm -hmm. going on right now and shit. So you take a, a city like Pittsburgh, the only revenue they do have is that fucking stadium. Or the pirates, you right. know what I mean? Or the penguins. That shit brings revenue to the city. So all year round, what are they doing in between those times? Suffering. I mean, <laughs> but you know, it's crazy. But it is what it is. All the people have yeah. outside of paying bills and shit like right. that, or trying to find some kind of work to make the ends meet. All they have at the end of the day is these sports programs and shit. So if you sign Kaepernick and these, and you got a bunch of people that don't want to go to the games now, that owner's going to lose out. Mm -hmm. What is he going to lose next? Advertisers. And you know where most of their money come from is the military. But, but it depends on who who, would, who wouldn't want to go to the games if they signed Kaepernick. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. It, 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 it would get so ugly to the point where we would have to show up. People from New York and all, just to fill up those fucking seats to show support. But That's crazy. Gone. I right. think I, I think otherwise. Look, they don't respect our. I dollar. think if they sign Kaepernick, right, it would bring so much attention. People would want to. People would just go to see what he's gonna do. I don't know. They they the people they they re, they don't respect the black dollar. And no offense to white people, but they respect white people money. And no, and another no respect to white people, but white people don't spend money on shit unless they're rich. Think about it. You ever see these motherfuckers in the airport, the clothes they wear, the shoes they wear, shit like that, the shoes, yeah, nah, I Birkenstock, it. shit like that. You I looking at this shit like, they be having these beautiful homes and shit with like a fucking Kia in the driveway. Mm -hmm. Kids fucked up. It's like, yeah. kids, and kids, kids, kids going to school, the kids, kids, kids is all crazy. The kids, you see the kids in school and shit, this motherfucker wears the same shirt with the same jacket every hey, day, day, same shoes and shit. He's going home to a fucking mini mansion. Right. Yeah. <laughs> These motherfuckers ain't spending right. money like that. You know who's keeping Gucci where Gucci is and Versace? Mm -hmm. Those rich white motherfuckers who can't mm -hmm. afford it and us poor ass black motherfuckers trying to keep up with the Joneses. If right. I'm lying, I'm dying. That's right. Sure. But they don't sure. value our dollar. This is why you got T.I. and niggas like that saying, look, niggas fall back for just a week. Yeah. Let me show so y'all what our dollar does. Show them, right. yeah, yeah, let yeah. Me show, And let these motherfuckers see what it is. But what the, the big companies do is, I'll give them a week. They'll be back. Mm -hmm. They'll be back. We'll put some shit out, you know, like something with a basketball player on it. Just, yeah. Yeah. Throw a basketball on the shit. They, they don't get the shit. Yeah, we could right. violate yeah. with the black we'll face and the, all that. We'll come out with the all black, <laughs> all black Gucci's with the red and green stripe. Tell them it's Africa. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I think that um, I think that every market understands the value of the black dollar. Oh, they they learn. You know what I mean? Okay. And in the same learn. respect, we gotta respect what. The white dollar does also. You know what I'm saying? Like, so for Kaepernick, I mean, he's kind of like, he's kind of like both. Mm -hmm. So like, everybody I, knows the story. I Everybody's been yeah, right. I would support him. I, I saluted Nike for even getting involved. Mm -hmm. That was deep. Mm -hmm. When Nike said, "Oh, he might not be in the game, but he's gonna be in the commercials mm -hmm. in between this motherfucker." That's huge. That was but is that his movement? That's his movement, right? The whole taking a knee thing, that was his movement, right? That yeah. doesn't have anything right. directly to do with BLM, right? Black Lives Matter, right? That doesn't, because Black Lives Matter came from the, 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 the brutality, and then Kaepernick came right. after that. Right. So when Jay went to make his deal, shouldn't he have spoke to the Black Lives Matter people first? Or shouldn't he, who's to say that he had to speak to anybody before he walked in there and conducted his business as a black man? To be, to be honest, I think that, because um, this is the reports, Kaepernick settled out mm -hmm. and he signed the gag order. Uh, uh, so from Jay's perspective, that, yeah. that's like, I can walk in here and say, I yeah. think we're past kneeling. Nah, real because sure. Because the guy that started didn't yeah, he, he got paid already. already. And now he's shut. He, he no, good. Yeah. He settled his business with Smart. him. That's real Smart. shit. Yeah. Why can't I deal with him? He already the guy who had problems settled already. Crazy. That's real. I will say this. I, I love hip hop for the reason that 
within hip hop, I don't, I don't feel this dissension. I don't feel this mm. diversity. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Like I was excited for Method Man albums the same way I was excited for Eminem albums. Yeah, there's no divide. You know what I'm saying? I was Mac Miller gave me a shout out. Right. Which is funny. He said, rap boxer, yeah, I'm Math Hopper. Mm -hmm. I got a boxing match at the end of this year. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you think about it. Rest right. in peace, Mac Miller. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. Hip hop. This what we, this this what kind of like links us all together. Mm -hmm. Closing statements, Mike P. I hope that you get Gigi Gotti after me. <laughs> <laughs> After me, me. <laughs> I hope that I, I, I hope that I'm so bad. Come on. Oh, he has to go. He's like, you know what? I need, to, yeah, I need he, to bounce back. He has to exactly. Bounce back. Just like you did the serious. Exactly. And, and came right to me. Exactly. So we, we, we got to pass the ball back and yeah. forth right now. You know yeah. what I mean? Send him to me. Beat up and shit. Knowledge. I never saw that jersey before. I need one. Yo, shout out to Thirdly Throwbacks. You made the hip hop is real joint. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all show up. And I always say. I'm a fucking legend, but facts. Shit, man. I tell Math all the time, nigga. Just let me know what it is you need. Nigga. That's a fact. Okay. And it, and his word is his bond. Facts. Mm. Word is his bond. You know what I mean? We out of here. Math half facts for the opinion. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, 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 hold the shit! He's holding. Hold the cut. Barbershop. Hold the cut. Twenty-three ten. Second Avenue. Hey. You know what I mean? It's going down. And again, if you want to be on the show, yeah. just click the link in the description. Email us and, you know, we work it out. Oh, stocks is going up now, motherfucker. I'm going to talk about it. Talk about it. About to get more talk about, about it. Talk about it. All right, we out of here. Salute. It might Hello. be at the police. <laughs> hey. I kick the fucking door off. Take the hinges with the door panel in the wall off. Bodies getting hauled off, limbs getting torn off. Leg him with the sword off. He looking like a walking dead zombie trying to crawl off.